This presentation is about the daguerreotype history in photography. In the 1840s and 1850s, the daguerreotype was the first ever available technology of photography. They were on a bright surface, metal surface like a mirror, and based on lighting conditions, were either positive or negative and were producing the first kind of photograph. The daguerreotype, also known as memory mirrors, keeping the silver polish and adjust its appearance with the precipitate of the angle of view. The image is on a silver surface and is normally held under glass. In the terms of orientated, the light and the light as well as well as the dark background in the metal. It is either positive or negative. The darkest section of our silver and the lighter section are a light tiny, ex except the lightest washing, the base is extremely smooth and can be divided permanently. They were the first first mechanical instrument that began during the recovery to record visual scenes. Time artists used the dark camera to draw their wishes. Later in photography, the camera dark may be used. It took a person eight hours to look at, at their photos. During this time, the photographer used lavender oil to, to wash them away, which had an effect on, on them and, and prevented further exposure to the daguerreotype, creating the image in a, a writable solution for table salt. A daguerreotype typist would turn the image onto a sheet of a silver plated copper, process it with fumes that sensitive made the surface of its surface, expose it in the camera as long as it was demanded necessary, which could only be for a couple of seconds for the bright sunlight subject or much longer for less intense light. It was less expensive and difficult to develop methods at, the, at this time. This led to an almost full change of the daguerreotype with the method of photography. The daguerreotype was widely described as the private memory, a good and clear image on a thin silver coated plated. In 1840s, both portrait studios were opened. It was not easy to daguerreotype and only the wealthiest could afford a portrait of themselves. The daguerreotype has been used to capture various images, including structures and documentary subjects, nature and in events. All three portraits were the most common subject. Sometimes at the top of the house, there, there was a daguerreotype studio with a glass roof that allows as much as light as possible. The daguerreotype lost further in the late 1850s, where introduced a quicker and cheaper photograph process. Some new photographers restarted this technique. Today, these photographs might be a pay appear to be misleading and as unnecessary.
but in 1850s they were the photographic focus. In the early 1900s, the photographer was extremely popular and people could take pictures pictures of themselves with their personal history. Similar to the Frenchman invented laying the groundwork for this new era. The main features were reporting and documentary in the world of social and projects of artifacts and a single person. There are still some communities of the photographers who want to save the Durga types as the exciting process in 18, in the 1980s and the 1990s. This but the insight full importance of the data type owing to the diesel difficulties. Hundred does not trust the photograph medium in which it is communicated, having the same expression influence as a drawing. This seems to be seems to be strange when considering that photography came from love for the landscape when many inventors and consumers have been reported, reported since then in most accounts Fox Starboard. Building upon the stereotype of qualified insectivity, movable objects were not recorded. This led to environments that they had not taken advantage of their use, expressing small, shiny, grey and little sad sensory effects in the same landscapes. The direct top was the right way to study thousands of details carrying at the time. However, due to Pickled physical appearance, it had much less approachable reflect the, co the common, indeed, and scientific object in development here. A further drawback with the with a small size of the pictures. In in Humboldt opinion, since this emulation is a direct type element, a real picture and natural process is not assured. In addition to the problem mentioned above, there are also difficulties discussing the whole parts and its accurate results that suggesting sensualizing and modeling that now con concludes my presentation.